For soldiers who are the grenadier or the grenade guy, they pretty much are the menace of the battlefield. Now, I'm not even going to pretend like I knew this. Grenadiers have been around for a while, and what I found really interesting when looking this up, they were always like the badass of the unit and like the super tall strong guy because they were quite literally just yeeting little pottery balls or glass balls that would ignite fire and cause chaos amongst the enemy ranks. Now, when you fast forward to the Vietnam War, this is where you can see how crucial the position of a grenadier was, causing many airstrikes on the battlefield right in the palm of your hand. Now, unlike the Vietnam War and the Afghanistan War, the role of the grenadier changed. This is because most of the time you were engaging with mounted grenade launchers because you were so far away from the enemy, you were just trying to wipe out the entire side of a mountain and hope you're hitting your targets.